today on the Dice Lab, I have in my hands the new Age of Sigmar 3rd Edition boxed set, Dominion, and I am going to do a little video on how to speed paint the Cruel Boys and get them on the table battle ready. So I hope that there are some techniques in here that you could use for your own Cruel Boys, or perhaps whatever it is that you're working on right now. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, let's dive on in. So right here I've got the Cruel Boys half of the Dominion box set. I shipped off the Stormcasts as well as the Hobgoblins, so we're going to have more of a boys focused Cruel Boys force. Now I'm going to skip over uh, most of the assembly because I think that's probably boring to watch. Um, you know, there's plenty of videos out there on YouTube about assembly tips. When it comes to basing these models, uh, we're pretty much just going to use some fine sand mixture with some PVA glue. I use this Elmer School glue is what I have in front of me. And I'm going to use a little old beat up brush to kind of spread that around the base. Uh, we're also going to use some cork just to kind of build up some rock formations and give the characters a little bit more height on the battlefield. And again, you know, I'm going to time lapse through this stuff because I don't want to bore you guys with it. There's plenty of other videos out there on this stuff and uh, you can use your imagination or, you know, look at these other videos. If people really want to see the process more in depth, I could probably make videos that expand on this, but I don't think it's necessary for this video. Now, after our models are all prepared and ready to go with their basing materials, we're going to just give them a quick rattle can spray. In this case, I've used some automotive primer in a deep maroon color that I think will work as a nice base coat because the purple is going to be the primary color for the plot, so I think that'll save us some time. And when I'm working on a project like this, you know, it's all about efficiency and just trying to get these guys done to a tabletop standard uh, as, as efficiently as possible. So now that we've got our force here all base coated in that maroon color, uh, you know, they're all ready to go for the paint scheme. So the first thing I'm going to do is knock out the skin tone. In this case, I've opted to go for kind of like icy blue skinned orcs. Uh, you could just as easily do a traditional green skin, but I think it's kind of fun to do alternative color schemes. So this is the stage where we're just going to lay down the base coats on everything. You know, we'll do the metal, we'll do the wood, we'll do uh, the, the shields. And remember in this stage that you probably want to go a little bit brighter with the color than it's eventually going to be since we're using an oil wash that's going to kind of grime everything up and tie it all together. And I'm not going to go too much into the colors that were used here or anything like that because I want this to just be more about the, the fundamentals of, of the process. And so you can use your army painter colors, your Vallejo colors, your AK colors, your Citadel, really whatever you want. You know, it's, it's, it's about the process here more than the exact colors. So here's kind of what everything's going to look like once you have all the base coats down. It's going to look a little bit basic at this stage, but just keep in mind the wash is going to tie everything together and really give it that depth that you're looking for. In this stage, I like to just slap on some black paint really watered down to do the bases. Um, but I mean, you could use any basing scheme, obviously. And here is kind of what your guys should be looking like once they are all base coated up and prepared for the fun part. Now we're going to get to the oil wash. So in this case, I've got AK's Winter Streaking Grime. Uh, you could even make your wash if you would prefer out of just oil paints, but I kind of like the tone on this one. So that's what I'm going with. I've got my Mineral Spirits. And then I've also got these little uh, dental Q-tip kind of things that I found on Amazon. I like them because they're small, so they give me a little bit more control. Uh, if you guys are interested, I can try to find the link to those uh, on Amazon for you. So the process is pretty straightforward. You're just going to take some of the wash and you're going to thin it with some mineral spirits. And you're just going to brush it all over the minis. Uh, you're going to give it about a minute to dry and then you're going to take a little Q-tip dipped in the mineral spirits and you're just going to kind of take it off of the high points. The wash is going to remain in the recesses and it's going to give you a really nice quick and dirty shading. It's kind of scary at first because it seems like you're going to ruin your paint job when you just slap this wash on it and it darkens everything up and makes it look all mucky, but it really comes to life when you start removing it with the Q-tips. So after about a day of them drying, I come back and I matte varnish them. Uh, after I matte varnish them, I'm going to pick out just a couple parts with acrylic paints again over the top, mainly the magic and like the tongues uh, on some of the shields. And what I did is I just took a really bright, vibrant, greenish yellow color and I just 
laid it down and then I mixed it up with a little bit of white and just kind of brighten it up and try to give it some pop in a couple of parts. Now there's a lot of different stuff you can do with this, you know, you can mix in oil paints and maybe there will be some videos where I do some other stuff and take it further. I've got a Lumineth army I'm working on right now. I also have the Trukari army. I also have the Ankh Kickstarter board game that just came through, so maybe I'll do some painting videos on that as well. I guess just let me know in the comments if one of these sounds kind of exciting to you guys or you'd like to see it. I also have the Nemesis Kickstarter board game, so that could be another fun project to do. And I finally got to play my first game of Age of Sigmar, uh, third edition, though I've never played any of the other editions. I used to love Warhammer Fantasy, so it was fun to kind of get some fantasy stuff going on the board. The boys did good. Uh, they held their own pretty well against Ricky's Slaves to Darkness. My killer boss on Nash Tooth brought down pretty much a whole squad of knights by himself, but in the end, another squad of knights charged in the back and uh, ended him. But it was a fun time, and you know, a lot of people were passing through the shop and asking me about the works, and they were kind of catching their eye on the table. So yeah, it was a fun time. Thanks for watching, guys. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed and maybe picked up some things or just got some inspiration for the day and uh you know more videos coming soon